Welcome to another instructional video from Everlast Refiners. In this video I will show you how to install an Everlast Refiner bypass oil filtration system on a 2007 Peterbilt dump truck with a Caterpillar C13 engine. The kit for this engine is a number 40 um, Everlast Refiner uh, which is equipped with a 12 volt DC thermal dehydrator. This kit includes everything you'll require to completely install this system including all consumable materials. Additional replacement filters can be purchased at everlastrefiner.com. First we're going to install the uh, mounting brackets and the oil refiner canister onto the passenger side of the firewall. First locate the mounting brackets as shown in the picture and install them using the self-tapping screws provided in the hardware kit. Next we're going to install the three-quarter inch uh, oil return hose assembly onto the return port located on the side of the canister. It's easier to install it prior to installation on, on the mounting brackets. This hose assembly is wrapped in a thermal insulating material to protect it due to its proximity to the turbo. Now mount the uh, oil refiner canister onto the mounting brackets just installed using the quarter 20 by one and a half inch bolts, lock washers and nuts provided. Orient the three quarter inch return port on the side of the canister uh, inward toward the, uh, the center of the cab as shown and route the return hose assembly down along the firewall to the oil pan. This oil return hose assembly returns oil to the oil pan by gravity so this hose assembly must go downhill all the way to the oil pan connection. At no point in the routing of the return hose should it go dramatically uphill. At the oil pan, remove the plug from the forward accessory port on the passenger side of the oil pan and drain the engine oil. Using the thread sealant compound provided, install the oil pan adapter fitting and 90 degree street elbow. Next, connect the swivel end of the return hose assembly to the oil pan. Secure the routing of the return hose assembly as required with the provided tie wraps, replace the engine oil and check the leaks. Next we're going to install the engine oil supply line assembly. Uh, first using the thread sealing compound provided install the valve assembly onto the inlet port located on the bottom of the oil refiner canister and orient the valve assembly as shown. The two valves in this assembly, the valve on the side with the 90 degree street elbow and plug is for taking oil samples. The bottom valve is for regulating the inlet flow of uh, motor oil into the oil refiner canister. Next, install the non-swivel end of the engine oil supply line assembly onto the bottom inlet flow regulating valve just installed and route this hose across the back of the engine and forward along the passenger side frame rail to the engine oil pressure switch. This pressure switch is located uh, on the driver's side of the engine in the uh, middle of the engine about halfway up. Next, at the oil pressure sensor, disconnect the hydraulic hose connection and install the number four uh, JIC T adapter fitting provided in the hardware kit and orient the side port so that it faces downward. Next, connect the swivel end of the engine oil uh, supply line to the side port on the, uh, the JIC T adapter just installed. These are all JIC connections and do not require thread sealant. 
finally secure the uh, the hose routing with the tie wraps provided next we're going to make the electrical connections to the heated lid assembly of the thermal dehydrator located on the top of the oil refiner canister first drill a one quarter inch hole through the firewall next to the air distribution valve in the fuse box compartment located on the driver's side of the firewall route the red fused power wire assembly through the firewall from the cab into the engine compartment once in the engine compartment route this red power wire across the engine uh, and to the uh, heated lid assembly of the thermal dehydrator and attach uh, the end of the, the uh, red power wire to one of the posts on the top of the, the heated lid assembly. Uh, this uh, heated lid is, is not polarity sensitive so it doesn't matter which post you connect to uh, it just requires a power and a ground. Now uh, install the uh, ground wire assembly um, attach one end to the remaining post on the, uh, the heated lid assembly and attach the other end to one of the uh, bracket bolts. Back at the power distribution panel, uh, attach the inline fuse provided in the kit to the end of the red power wire using the blue butt connector provided and uh, attach the remaining end of the, um, the inline fuse to the 15 amp uh, fuse located in the upper right hand corner of the fuse panel as shown. Uh, now fill this one quarter inch hole uh, that was drilled in the firewall with silicone to prevent any chafing. Next, secure this wire routing uh, with the tie wraps provided. Now it's time to operationally check the system and set the flow rate. First remove the heated lid using a rag or a glove. Um, this lid has a heating element in it and gets reasonably hot. Not hot enough to burn you, but you wouldn't want to hold on to it for very long. Start the engine and watch for oil flow across the dispersion plate. This will take several minutes, so be patient. Opening the regulator valve on the bottom of the oil refiner canister fully and running the engine at high idle will help speed this process up. Now once oil is flowing, adjust the regulator valve so that a uh, slow even flow of oil covers the step dispersion plate at idle. Once this is established, run the engine at high idle to ensure that the can will not overflow. If you notice the canister filling up, readjust the regulator valve on the bottom of the oil refiner canister to slow the flow rate. For this application, one half turn open of the flow uh, regulator valve is the normal setting. Uh, return the engine to idle. Um, reinstall the heated lid using a rag or a glove. Install the washer and wing nut provided. And hand tight is fine. And that's it. Uh, the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System is installed and the flow rate is established. Maintenance. Now we're going to discuss how to maintain the, uh, the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System. Uh, first, uh, you have to check your oil level and dispersion plate flow rate regularly. Take oil samples every 20,000 miles. Replace the uh, filter element as required whenever you notice a significant reduction in the oil flow rate across the dispersion plate or you get an oil sample report that indicates that it's time for a replacement or finally foregoing all of that, um, replace your filter every year. Oil analysis. Uh, to address any questions you may have about your oil sample results, uh, please go to the link shown here or for uh, direct assistance, please contact our technical support um, at the, the link provided. 
Now, how does it work? Well, if you have any questions about how the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System actually works to preserve the uh, condition and quality of your motor oil, please go to the link provided. There's a thorough description here and a, a short video which explains in detail how the uh, oil refining process works. Finally, uh, for any technical support questions, uh, please contact the link shown here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please uh, keep coming back uh, to uh, view additional videos uh, from Everlast Refiner. Thank you.